if you remember, man, we we went to that show, and after the show, when have you ever known me to be reactionary? <laughs> I, uh, the first time I ever met you, the first time I ever met you, we were opening for Aerosmith at the L.A. Forum, and uh, the first knock on the door was David Lee Roth. He goes, hey, no, man. He, he, you and I were telling him yes. that he was like our one of our biggest influences, <laughs> our biggest inspirations. Yeah. First thing is, is like we meet, and uh, he has... Two joints and two beers, and hands yeah. me one of each. <laughs> Is that Sebastian or Roth? Uh, Sebastian, okay. and 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 then we start singing "Train Kept a Rollin" because now I'm gonna get to go sing it with Aerosmith. Right. And so the whole room kind of freaks out and starts staring at us, you know. And then later, we're telling David Lee Roth, he's like one of our biggest influences. Well, he took us ever. out, and you know, and to his uh, in his defense, he later apologized, but yeah. he comes up, puts his arm around both of us, yeah. and goes. You guys ain't nothing but pretenders yeah. to the throne. Oh, oh no! Oh, oh, I'll never, oh, oh, oh. I'll never forget this in and my he's life. Like, and he, <laughs> Baz is forget. like, dude, why are you being such a dick? <laughs> <laughs> no, let me let me give my side to that, okay? Oh. So here I am with my like my heroes and stuff hanging out. And Rick Rubin was the guy that drove us to the Rainbow, and David Lee Roth wanted to take us out. So. Oh, that's my balls to the wall ringtone. Um, so, so then we're. we're Baz has an ex- a ringtone from Accept. Yes. I heard. I heard his Izzy was. T- I, I was hanging out with Izzy here in New York, mm-hmm. and uh, I heard that uh, he was telling me that Udo's wife wrote all those lyrics. Well, Wolf's really? wife. Yeah, her Wolf's, name was Wolf's D- wife. Diaffi. Yeah. And Diaffi. She, she wrote yeah. all the lyrics yeah. on Balls to the Wall. Thing. He was kind of freaking out about that. And they're kind of like gay lyrics, kind of. But anyway, well, because they're written by a woman, though. So London I, Leather Boys. So, so Dave. Yeah, Dave, yeah well, I have a friend who had, you know, that wore this Judas Priest shirt. He goes, I wore that Ram It Down shirt for like a year. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get me started. Oh, <laughs> he, goes, he was really upset about that. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> okay, go on. Go on. Sorry. Yeah, just my side of the David Lee Roth thing. Like, he, he, uh, he was, he, I remember him. Taking us out there, and I was in the middle of Axel and David, and I remember, I remember vividly, Brad Michaels came up to the table, he goes, hey man, can I sit down with you guys? And we go, no. <laughs> <laughs> but then, then he, he, oh, that's, that's true. That's he goes, the second time he's got dick time. tonight. He goes, can I? So, but anyway, so Dave is really being cool, and he's being funny, and he's, he's, he's like, he orders a drink, he's like this, medic! Like, he's like, he's being total Dave. But the more whiskey he drinks, the meaner he gets, like, and it just, and like, I just sense this vibe, and, and then, uh, and then I, the way I remember it, he takes one shot of Jack, and looks over at you and me, and he goes, well... It looks like I got a couple pretenders to my throne right here. And you looked at me like, what did he just say? <laughs> and because I, I, I just remember you going, dude. It was like, <laughs> <laughs> Why are you being such a dick? <laughs> Actually, I can't believe Sebastian would ever say something like that. Yeah, it I, I know, it's like hard that. to no, picture. But then the next week, I got this letter. Yeah, I got a letter too. Yeah, handwritten from David Lee Ross saying, hey, man. Well, mine was from a judge. No. <laughs> And he goes, he goes, you, you two guys remind me of like why I first got into music and stuff. And then he goes, yeah, but then he turns around and does it again later. So it doesn't, uh, matter, you know, oh, whatever. Yeah. Well, yeah. at least you guys are on the airwaves in New York City, and he's not. I don't have anything yeah. against that. I love Dave. <laughs> yeah, I love, Dave's great. I, I love Dave. You guys were just playing some, right? Uh, no, we haven't played Van Halen oh, okay. yet. No, we, we can though. Oh, we'll that's because I was listening to your competition. That's all. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, you know what. You're on this station, not there. So there you go. Enough said. 